as you know and as i told you in my last uh, uh, class that i would be taking uh, two different uh, subjects two different topics uh, simultaneously in two different sections so i have selected uh, just like that i mean there was there was kind of i did a kind of coin tossing seriously i'm taking uh, take, uh, take, uh, take talking this in a serious note but i actually made a coin tossing and uh, put a linear algebra i mean the discussion of module 3 for uh, section a and uh, this discussion of module 2 for section b and not only that i didn't toss the coin by myself i made it i made someone to toss that coin for me and that's how i selected uh this uh, module 3 for section a so i'm going to continue module 3 for section a and module 2 for section b will be continued simultaneously and there will be kind of cross connection where you will get to see the videos of module 2 in youtube and section b is go going to get to see the video of module 3 in youtube and the ca2 examination will be based on both the modules where you have to attempt today i'm going to start a new chapter which is um, related to uh, obviously related to linear algebra but uh, you can say that since in module 3 theory of matrices are given so we can visualize from that perspective also because you already know that uh, if i talk about linear transformation every linear transformation is associated with a matrix and every matrix is associated with a linear transformation so actually there is no difference what you study whether you study linear transformation or matrices if you are studying linear transformation that means you are studying matrices so and we all, we also came to know about the isomorphism between the two and so therefore you can say that we are continuing linear algebra because i'm uh, i i will be following the book of uh, friedberg um, uh, for this uh, module 2 uh, module 3 and uh, you we will get to see that how these connections have been made in various occasions so let me start with a definition the definition which is given in the book is definition of elementary operation you know when we solve equation uh, if you have gone through the preface of friedberg uh, then probably you have seen that the basic objective of studying linear algebra when it started was to solve system of linear equations and with by keeping this in mind uh, uh, mathematician started developing various ideas of vector space etc etc basic objective was to solve system of linear equations and in engineering uh, 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 we often deal with the system of equations with so many unknowns and um, uh, so many equations okay of uh, uh, i mean which are not uh, same always which are distinct from one another in most occasions so and you also uh, have uh, studied uh, solving system of linear equation in in your school days where there was uh, a special case was treated by taking the same equation and uh, same number of unknowns but the way by which you did this was actually uh, same as i will be using over here and the way was that we applied some sort of elementary operations over there what you did actually you did uh, you, when you solved you try try to solve the system of equations you interchange between the two systems you multiplied multiplied a particular system with a non, uh, with a uh, non zero scalar okay and uh, when we or, or or you add some scalar multiple of one equation to other equation and by elimination of variable we try to solve the system so these operations that interchanging of equations uh, multiplying an equation with a non zero scalar or adding scalar multiple multiple of one equation to the other these are actually called elementary operations so i am going to write the elementary operations definition from the friedberg book from matrix point of view because every system of linear equation can be converted to can be written with the help of matrices matrices you know so the definition first definition goes like this let capital a b n m by n matrix m m by 
लेकिन जाइए नहीं घर से हम नहीं नहीं कर बताए एंड एनी वन एनी वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एनी वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री ऑपरेशन एनी वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थ्री ऑपरेशन ऑन द रोज और कॉलम्स ऑन द रोज और कॉलम्स <clears throat> of capital a is called is called an elementary an elementary row or column operations elementary row or column operations and what are these operations number 1 interchange interchange any two rows of any two rows of a number 2 uh multiply any row or column by a non zero scalar by a non zero scalar this term i have highlighted is very important and number 3 is adding any scalar multiple any scalar multiple this scalar may be positive may be zero may be negative so here the option non zero is not there non zero option is there in uh, point number 2 so you have to keep this in mind i am putting a star over here so when you do read something you have to be very careful about what you are reading adding any scalar multiple of a row or column okay of capital a to another row or column to another row or column okay so you see that if i uh, try to understand this definition is very simple although but i'm still i'm going to discuss a few lines about it the understanding is under, if you want to understand this definition from uh, by by considering an example it goes like this suppose we have an equation very simple equation twice x minus y equal to 3 and uh, say for example x plus y equal to minus 1 if i take this equation then its corresponding matrix version will be the coefficient matrix can be written as 2 minus 1 1 1 and this should be multiplied by the column vector xy so that would be equated to the column vector 3 minus 1 from the right hand side that is the matrix version of the given system of equation and if you multiply the left hand side left hand side matrices you will see that are the same thing if you multiply the left hand side portion of the equation and equate it to the right hand side portion then you will see that the same thing comes out so it is both way true now when i started uh, this class i said in i used the terms like interchanging of two equations uh, multiplying an equation by a non zero scalar or adding a scalar multiple of one equation to the other and here when i wrote the definitions i talked about uh, interchanging of two rows and multiplying any row by a non zero scalar or adding a scalar multiple of one row to another row or one column to another column so what happens is that this two things are similar so for example if you let us uh, consider this as type 1 and if i consider this as type 2 so whatever you do in type 1 something will automatically be done in type 2 if you do something in type 2 automatically that will be done done in type 1 so since they are interconnected to one another so for example if you think that no i must write x plus y uh, is equal to minus 1 first and then i have to write uh, twice x uh, 
uh, minus y equal to 3. Then what will happen to that? If I consider this coefficient matrix as 2 minus 1, 1, 1, this matrix is A, which is 2 by 2. So when I do this operation, when I interchange these two, what is happening? This is same as the matrix is equivalent to 1, 1 and 2 minus 1. So I'm interchanging the two rows. The rows R1 and R2 are getting interchanged because I have changed the position of the equations over there. Okay, so this is point number one. Point number two is that I do not have space, so I have to write in the next page. Yet, I let me try it on this page also. Okay, so, so what is happening? Let me write. Uh, here I'm actually interchanging the rows. Here I'm actually interchanging the rows. So I'm writing one, one and two minus one. So this is one and that is also one. Now, when I <clears throat> say, for example, if I want, if I say that, no, I'm going to multiply uh, this equation by two so that I can subtract this equation from the above equation. If I do so, then equation two, let me write the equation number. Let me give the equation number. So this is equation number one and this is equation number two. So what will happen if we multiply equation two by two? This implies that it for type one, it is for, it is being done for type one. What is happening? Twice x plus twice y equal to minus two. So I am doing twice x plus twice y is equal to minus two. That is being obtained. Two is any scalar multiple. Two is a non-zero, two is obviously non-zero, not any, it has to be, uh, I mean, non-negative, non-zero. It can be negative also, but it can be negative, it can be positive, but uh, uh, it cannot be zero. So the, the multiplying factor, the multiplying factor over here, two or, or C is non-zero. That means uh, it can be positive or negative only okay so if i do so what is happening in type 2 simultaneously what is happening in type 2 so let's see in type 2 we have this row uh, no sub, we have this mat i'm i'm considering this matrix 2 minus 1 1 1 for, as a starting point so my matrix was 2 minus 1 and 1 1 so when i'm multiplying the second row by the second equation by the non-zero scalar 2, it is simply equivalent to multiplying the second row by the non-zero non -zero scalar 2. So actually what operations I have made, I have kept R1 same and R2 has been changed as 2 into R2. Okay. So that has been actually made over here. Now the last one is type uh, one last operation for type one is suppose suppose uh, after multiplying this uh, equation by two, two then I'm get I'm going to add it to the first equation. So what we, what is happening over here? So let's write it. So the, my first equation was twice x minus uh, y equals to three, twice x minus y equal to three, and I have multiplied the second equation by two. So twice x plus two y is equal to minus two. Okay, and then I'm actually a, uh, subtracting, subtracting it. So what is wh what I'm getting over here? I'm getting twice x minus twice x, that is zero, minus y minus two y, that is minus three y. And um, three, prime, three minus minus two, that is uh, three plus two, that is five. And therefore, y is coming out as 5 by minus 3 or my, minus 5 by 3, whatever you write. So that is happening. So what I what this operation has been done over here. So what does it mean? So let us, I suppose I started with this matrix, 2 minus 1, 1, 1. Now, first operation I actually made, I didn't, inter I didn't interchange the row. Suppose, suppose I didn't interchange the row. So I am multiplying the second row by two. So that operation has been done repeated over here. So R1 remains same and R2 becomes two R2. And in the next phase, what I'm getting, 
I am subtracting. I am subtracting the first row. I am subtracting the second row from the first. Or you can say I am subtracting the. Uh, here what I what, here what I have I done? I subtracted the second equation from the first. So here also I am going to subtract the second row from the first. So actually second row remains same. Second row doesn't change over here, but first row changes to R1 minus R2. So what do I get? What do I get actually? Two two in the second row, and the first row becomes two minus two. That is zero, and uh, minus one minus two. That is minus three. Carefully observe. What did I get over here? Here I actually got after this subtraction. What I got? Zero minus three y equal to five, isn't it? Now. Zero minus three y equal to five, but this this particular equation is the equation was the equation one, and this was the equation two. Now this equation one is actually changing; it changes. It changes. This changes to what? This changes to this one, and equation two remains same. This remains same. So what you are getting? You are actually getting. Zero uh, minus three y, so zero minus three is there. Two two x plus two y, so two two are there. Okay, forget about the right hand side. We are getting this. So actually, whatever you are, whatever the operations you are doing, this is same as this. This is same as this row operation. So these things are connected to one another. This uh, row operations and column operations are connected to one another. Going further forward, if you ask me, sir. Uh, Uh, you are considering only the coefficient matrix that is capital a so you can ask the student can ask me this question so student is asking that sir you are considering you are considering since i have kept you muted so probably these questions are coming to your mind so i am guessing it you are considering only the coefficient matrix coefficient matrix okay but uh, in the system of equation in the system of equation everything is getting changed everything is getting changed that is your question okay and uh, you can ask me the sir can't it be reflected in the in the in the row operation so my answer is yes definitely that can be reflected so i am going to show these things again in the again a fresh to you So what was my equation? My op equation was this: two minus one, one one, and on the right hand side we have three minus one. So if you want to reflect the the operations applied on the uh, equations into the matrix, and if you want to consider this matrix also together with the uh, matrix A, so that version is called augmented matrix. That version is called augmented matrix. and augmented matrix means this augmented matrix the word augmented comes from the word augmentation and it is actually synonymous to addition addition in not usual sense i mean not like the we add to numbers or we add to matrices it is kind of you can say that uh, uh, kind of consideration i am put Taking it into consideration, that is the, in that sense I am considering this word addition, not addition, not scalar addition, not vector addition, not like this. Okay, so that's why they have not written addition of matrices, addition matrix. Otherwise, people will people might have get confused. So they have word, used the word augmented matrix. Okay, they have not used the word added matrix. So what will be the augmented matrix in this particular case? The augmented matrix will be like this. Uh, My original uh, coefficient matrix was two uh, minus one one one, so I am writing over here two minus one one one, and put a dotted vertical line like this, and one added column will be introduced. That added column will come from this right hand side. That is three minus one. That matrix completely represents your equation. That matrix completely represents your system of equation that is called the augmented matrix corresponding to the given system and if the coefficient matrix is termed as capital a and the right hand side column matrix this if i consider this as a and that as b the matrix uh, augmented matrix is denoted by 
a bar b that is equal to the matrix which i have got so again let us apply the row operation over here so the operations which i have considered so now you have to keep in mind the operations which have been performed the elementary operations which have been performed on the system of equation as well as into the rows that will also be applicable to the entire row not only only to the coefficient row because this particular element 3 has become part of the row 1 and this particular matrix min uh, this particular element minus 1 has become the part of row 1 so now you have to consider the entire row not just the coefficient row let's see let's see what happens so again this matrix is equivalent to okay uh, so what i did in the first stage i kept r1 same so we will write 2 -1 and 3 and we uh, multiplied the second row by 2 the scalar 2 so we wrote uh, let us write it as 2 2 and the right hand side is minus 2 okay put the bar bar always helps you to uh, helps anyone to figure it that it is an augmented matrix if you do not keep the bar so people may get confused that maybe you are dealing with the coefficient matrix maybe augmented matrix has not been taken into consideration so if some people some of you are thinking of skipping the bar uh, from your further calculations please don't do so because everything what is there has some sort of meaning and uh, logic in it okay so that operation i have made i am not writing the operations r1 and r2 remain same and r2 is becoming 2r2 next what we did we subtracted uh, we, we kept r2 same so we let us write it as 2 2 and minus 2 r2 was same and r1 th that r2 has been subtracted from r1 so we got 2 minus 2 that is uh, 2 minus 2 that is 0 minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 3 and 3 minus minus 2 that is 5 so we get this okay so see now if you if you consider this matrix now if you consider this matrix if you write it like this 0 minus 3 2 2 and if you multiply this by if we multiply this by x y okay so what will what will you get and 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 uh, on the right hand side if you write uh, 5 minus 2 what will you get this implies 0 into x minus 3 into y so minus 3y 0 minus 3y which is equal to 5 and 2x plus 2y that is equal to minus 2 so 2x plus 2y that is equal to minus 2 now you see same thing have been obtained over here the same thing have been obtained over here and the same uh, in this in this case also in here in this twice x plus twice y equal to minus 2 and 0 minus 3y equal to 5 here also I have got the same thing. So which implies that this matrix, augmented matrix, and this, uh, this part of the equation, they are actually equivalent to one another. So whatever you draw, whatever you do in the elementary system, whatever elementary operation you perform in the system of equation that is being performed in the corresponding augmented matrix or coefficient mat matrix. Now, the thing is that regarding the solution, regarding if you ask me, sir, how did you find y equals to 5 minus 5 by 3 from here? I mean, can you show us that you have got minus 5 by 3 from here in this matrix operation only? Then I'm going to tell you this later on, not right now. I was just telling you what do we mean by elementary operations and what is the connection between elementary operations performed in rows as well as in the system of equations. Okay, so you have to be very careful about that. Now, second part is that uh, you have to uh, be very careful that I have used this sign. This sign I already told you. Mathematically, this sign is equivalent, is called, is known as, is known as tilde. It is called tilde. In the computer keypad also, this sign is there. Okay, in the, just uh, besides the key one, with exclamatory sign just just on the left of that uh, this tilde sign is there with okay so tilde is actually used to is actually used for the word equivalent to 
equivalent to or you can say isomorphic to so this matrix is isomorphic to that matrix because their characteristics are same so you never if you perform these row operations you never write like this that you are putting 2 minus 1 equals 2 minus 1 1 1 and after performing the row operations you are writing this is equal to that and that is equal to this do not do so okay they, these matrices are not equal matrices why it is not equal matrices okay why not why not equal say for example let us let us let us go to the next page and let me uh, talk about it clearly so we had 2 minus 1 and uh, what do we have 1 1 so if you someone someone writes that i am someone is performing row operations and he is writing uh, it is equal to 2 minus 1 and 2 2 and he is saying that i am keeping r1 and r1 r1 same and r2 is getting multiplied by uh, 2 then he is wrong actually why is it he is wrong he cannot write this this cannot be written because we know that if two matrices are equal then the matrix are equal because they element wise they are equal so a matrix capital A is equal to a matrix capital B if and only if each of its element is equal to the uh, each of the elements of one matrix is equal equal to the corresponding element of the other matrix. So here I can see that 2 is equal to 2 minus 1 equal to minus 1 but 1 is not equal to 2 and 1 is not equal to 2. So it is violating the uh, definition of matrix equality. Why it is happening? Because you have used a wrong symbol, equality. So this cannot be done, can't be done, not permissible. Okay. So if you are not careful, uh, try to be careful about it. Therefore, they have used the sign equivalent to or isomorphic to. In matrix case, it would be much better if you call it as equivalent to. Okay. Because isomorphic, the term is actually used in the case of vector spaces and if I if you say that isomorphic to that means it's corresponding linear transformations are isomorphic from one vector space to the other so for if I deal with matrix only so let us call it equivalent only okay and the lastly you have to keep this in mind what is this r1 becomes r1 minus r2 so I want to talk about that R1, when I write R1 becomes R1 minus R2. So this implies that R1 actually changes. What is changes? What is changing? R1 is actually changing. But if you write R2, uh, sorry, if you write R1 is equal to, sorry. If you write like this, R1 changes to R2 minus R1. If you write like this, say for example, that doesn't mean anything doesn't mean anything why because in one hand you are saying that r1 is being changed but on the other hand you are writing it r2 minus r1 so it is actually meaningless but if you want to if you want to write like this say if you are saying that r2 implies r2 minus r1 then again, it becomes meaningful and it means that R2 is changes. Okay, so the thing which changes from there we subtract. We do not subtract the row or column which is changing. So here R1 is changing. So R1 cannot take this position. R1 cannot be subtracted. From R1, you are going to subtract other things. So you have to keep this in mind. That is very important point. Is very important okay so you see that we i have discussed that this uh, elementary operations and uh, this uh, oh one more thing i must say that if i go back to the definition part that is this part adding any scalar multiple of a row or column so if you ask me that sir why did i well, i have not added anything actually after this operation i subtracted the second row from the first so you see that actually I will say that it is a sort of addition because this subtraction can be written as R1 changes to R1 plus minus 1 into R2. So a scalar multiple minus 1, a scalar multiple of R2 minus 1 of R2 is getting added to R1. 
so actually that we actually we are familiar with uh, we are actually not familiar with this sort of representation we usually write it as r1 plus mi minus 1 into r2 we write it as r1 minus r2 so if a person write it like this r1 plus minus 1 into r2 people actually laugh at me and say why are you so uh, i mean why are you writing so many things everybody knows that r1 plus minus 1 into r2 is r1 minus r2 why aren't you writing r1 minus r2 okay what is your problem so this is the problem so if we, for the understanding part if you want to understand that thing that okay uh, adding any scalar multiple of one row to the other row that means what that means uh, now you say that i am not adding i am sub subtracting so that's why i am saying that okay no you are adding actually you are adding a negative scalar multiple of one row to the other row okay understood so see i must tell you that uh, so a, a simple definition you see simple definition probably you have gone through the day some of you have gone through the definition uh, some of you maybe may know that yeah sir is going to touch uh, in, uh, at uh, uh, chapter number 3 of this friedberg uh, book and one student also asked me sir are you going to continue with friedberg uh, or something else so i said no i would be i would be going to continue with friedberg uh, so i am in love with this person so therefore uh, probably you have guessed that chapter 3 is my chapter probably you have gone to gone through this definition before i take my class but just only when you do when you read the definition try to be careful and carefully think that what you are reading and what is actually what does it actually represent it's not just reading literature it is reading mathematics so its way of reading is something different from the way of reading even literature reading is also very tough because you have to read between lines okay so i hope i am successful in uh, in communicating the idea in of elementary operations and its connection with the uh, matrix uh, matrix properly so six 5 minutes 48 seconds left for this particular class i am going to enable the chat box don't worry but after some time in proper time i am going to do this before that i must write another definition and definition goes like this definition says that n n by n elementary matrix and n by n elementary matrix is obtained and n by n elementary matrix is obtained uh, by performing performing an elementary operation an elementary operation operation on in elementary operation on in so you see i'm enabling the chat box because you are getting restless you i know so okay now you can put your uh, attendance over there <clears throat> so you see carefully that all of you write your student ids quickly because we have 4 minutes 34 seconds left for this session now you see that um, here they have used n by n and in the previous definition they used m by n don't think that this is a mistake it is for any matrix so any order and the second one is only for the square matrix and what do you mean by i n so say for example if i consider i2 so i2 is an identity matrix like this i n is a identity matrix of order n okay so it is 2 cross 2 so they are saying that if you perform any elementary matrix on i2 then uh, i2 we get we get if we perform any elementary operation on a square matrix or identity or identity square matrix then we get an elementary matrix so for example if i multiply if i write like this if i say then r1 here is remaining same r1 is same as r1 and r2 is getting multiplied by 2 r2 r2 is changes like this and if i write 1 0 and 0 2 then then uh, actually the matrix which i get is kind of elementary matrix let us represent this elementary matrix by e e1 okay so any operation any elementary operation performed on identity matrix is 
giving you the elementary operation. Any operation performed on any elementary operation performed on the identity matrix is given, giving you the elementary an elementary matrix. That thing is being written over here. What is it is the definition of elementary matrix. And one more thing is that uh, you, you can ask me one question of why this uh, in, in uh, this point number two, they have written that multiplying any row by, or, or column by a non-zero scalar. Why do, what do I, what will happen if I write uh, multiplying any row or column by a scalar? So see, if you talk about the system, solving a system of equation, and if you ask, tell me that I am actually, uh, say for example here, if you tell me that sir, actually I am uh, adding, I am changing R1 in this way, that R1 is becoming R1 minus zero R2. So actually you are changing nothing from the perspective of, it is changing from the perspective of uh, solving system of equation, it is nothing. Okay, because multiplying by zero, uh, it, it actually doesn't change anything. Yeah, okay, okay. So Dhiraj Kumar is saying that, yeah, they, that point, it actually came to his mind. And therefore now probably Dhiraj is uh, actually agreeing with me and he has, un he has understood the point. So multiplying zero, multiplying a row by a zero and then adding it to a, another row, that actually means nothing. You are doing nothing for solving the system of equations. So from that perspective, uh, keeping that perspective in mind, uh, they are saying that, okay, so multiplying by zero scalar is actually doesn't have any meaning in, the, in that. Now, uh, one thing that, uh, uh, although they have written, although they have written adding any scalar multiple of a row, so you can say that, yes, sir, adding any scalar multiple of row means, uh, okay, zero, I can multiply a particular thing by zero and then I can add the row to another row. So although they have mentioned it for in general sense, it actually is doing nothing to your system. Here, if I change a particular, if I multiply a particular row by multiplying it by zero, it becomes say two minus one and zero, zero. Then something will happen, something absurd will happen, which will be understood later on when I shall delve into the details of this uh, solving of system of equation. Right now, you will not understand <clears throat> this particular part Clearly, gradually you are going to understand that. Okay, so I'm uh, pausing the